Well, last week's breaking news video that I dropped has been going gangbusters. We talked about the about tab being removed. We mentioned that channel tab is going to be removed and some other things. But that channel tab issue, it's now gone. If you look at most channels, look at my channel, it is gone. Now, a lot of people have said in my comments on that video that, that they're disappointed, they're upset with YouTube on this because it's been removed. But guess what? It hasn't really. The tab's gone for clicking on, but you can still feature those exact same things on your homepage in a little tray of their own. You can do your featured channels and you can do your subscriptions. I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. Let's dive in. Now you can see here, I'm just on my YouTube. If you go into your settings and privacy, you can see they still have the toggle to keep your subscriptions private. Like me personally, I keep them private because this is the channels I watch and they're not necessarily channels in my niche. They're channels that I watch for various different topics. And so I got, you know, hundreds of them. I don't want to share those with people. So I have mine off, but I understand that people like to share them for different reasons. And YouTube is still allowing that. Even though the channel tab has been removed, you can have it on your homepage. So let's jump in to my YouTube studio. And we're gonna go into the customize section. Now you can also actually go to your channel and do it this way. If you're on your channel page, if you're starting a new you can click customize channel right here and it will take you right in. So that's what we're gonna do. And we're right into the layout section and the customization menu. It takes us straight there. We don't have to go through uh, into the dashboard, go down, click customization. We're right there. And as you know, you can have these uh, video spotlights, which is your like channel trailer, video for returning viewers, or subscribers. And then you've got the for you section, which you can turn on and off. If you want to check that video out, I've linked that up in the description and in the corner. Now you have these feature sections that says here you can customize up to 12 sections. So I have a section for upcoming live stream. So when I have a scheduled live stream, it appears towards the top of my channel page. And then I've got like playlists and so forth. And I happen to have a feature channel set up here. And I'm gonna show you how to do that as well as your subscription one. So what you need to do is so long as you've still got sections available, you can come out to add section. If it's grayed out, it means you've probably used all 12. But we're gonna click on that. Now, if you wanna go to the bottom of the options, you can see the featured channels just always be on here, but now they've added subscriptions here so you can include your subscription feed. So all you have to do is click on it. And now what will happen, it will show here. Now you can see it says zero for me because I have my subscriptions private as I just showed you. But if you have them, you will be able to see them. The three dots, it gives us the option to remove them once again. And of course you can move them to where you wanna feature them. You can feature them all the way up the top if you want to. Uh, I advise not putting them at the top, but actually put them towards the bottom. Uh, for people who are looking for them, they can find them at the bottom. It's not something that I would feature over and above your own content. But you can have it. There's a subscription feed there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into featured channels. Now you can add featured channels, of course, by doing the same thing, add section, and then click on featured channels. Now I've already added it but I can click on the three dots and edit the section. This is the curated channels. This is the ones that you actually wanna to recommend to other people. So I find this one more valuable than showing my general subscription feed. So keep that in mind. So you can go in here and literally, I've got it saying my other channels. Channels in this section over here are ones I've already added. This is the search area. So I could say, I want to add, let's say Creator Insider. That should come up to the top. You can see there's more than one channel with that name, but obviously this one's the correct one. All I have to do is just check it. Let's add Daniel Patel. Great channel if you uh, want to grow your YouTube channel. And for good measure, Nick Newman. And there you go. We're just going to leave those for now. And so once I click done, you can see they're all listed there. Now what I'm going to do is publish this and show you what it looks like on your homepage once it's been published. On my way there, what I did is went and turned, made my subscriptions public just so you can see what it's gonna look like if you do it on your channel. And now I'm on my main channel page and you can see we've got a new for you section there. 
and we got some of our playlists. And now, of course, remember I had it at the bottom and some shorts. And there's the channels I, I featured. My, and I called my other channels. You can customize this title here. Remember, I just left it as my other channels, which I'm gonna need to change because they're not all my channels. And here's the subscriptions. You can see here, it's put them in some sort of random order because it's changing them up. You can show another set of five there, but you can click view all. There's a view all button. What this is gonna do is open up a selection to show and as you scroll they open up so it's actually going to show you all the channels you subscribe to so do not fear they haven't disabled this feature this feature is is this in this format wasn't here before but now because the channel tabs are done you can now still access the full uh, subscriber list if a channel is still sharing it they just need to add it to their home page so if you want to share this around, let people know, let creators know that they can add their subscriptions. If that's something that they were doing on the channel tab before, they can now add it to their homepage as a tray. People can click view all and view all of their subscriptions. So the feature is still there. It's just in a new place. So make sure you pass the word around, share this video out, let people know where they can find it because you know the YouTube aren't gonna change it back. So this is the way we're gonna do it from this point on. So spread the word, spread the word. Now if these sorts of YouTube tips are helpful for you because of all the changes that YouTube are making continually on their platform, whether it's UI updates like this, or whether it's new features that they're adding, make sure to subscribe to this channel because this is the sort of stuff I cover on a regular basis. There'll be tutorials, there'll be how-tos, and sometimes there'll be a few opinions. So if you wanna check out more about the For You tab that we saw right at the top of my page there, that everybody's getting on their channels. Then I did a video recently on that, so you can check it out in this video right here. Well, this is Doug, and I'll catch you later.